Hello, my name is Chris Joran. I am an application engineer at Trimac out of Knoxville. Uh, today we're going to be talking about an introduction to mouse gestures. This isn't necessarily an introduction into what they are, um, although we will discuss that. This is how to begin using them. They're a little daunting at first. Um, if you are watching this video, chances are you've seen several of our other tech tips. And you may see some of our engineers uh, just flying through creating a model when they're trying to discuss something else. Um, they'll create a quick model and you'll kind of have no idea what's going on. Um, what they're using most of the time are mouse gestures. And what you're seeing in the background here is one of our application engineers, Devin Martin, who is using mouse gestures to create a part. Um, he is actually slowing down for this video. His Mouse gestures are usually so quick that um, the camera can't really pick them up. They're almost an invisible click. Um, so mouse gestures at their core um, are just a, a right click and drag, which will get you to a menu around your mouse cursor. To set them up, uh, we're going to go into either Tools and Customize. Or the quicker way is the drop down next to options and customize. Then we'll simply click on the mouse gestures tab. And this gives us a preview of the four different types of gestures that we can have. So we can have a part, a sketch, assembly, and drawing. These are four sets of mouse gestures that we can use when we're in each of these modes. So to get started, uh, what I'm going to ask for you to do if you've never used mouse gestures before is to use just two gestures. This is uh, an introduction. We're going to start with two. So we're going to use two gestures, vertical or horizontal, whichever you prefer. Um, as you can see, we can go up to 12 different mouse gestures. This does get uh, slightly more difficult to control, but you can see you can add far more tools onto each of these. We're going to start with two, and we'll go horizontal. So for each of these, we're going to set this up um, in a way that's going to just get us a quick uh, intro to how to use these. So for the sketch, all we have to do is throw in what we want. So what we're going to do is find the circle command and simply drag and drop that. And then we'll do the rectangle command. And we'll say a center rectangle. For the part, we're going to use an extrude. And we're going to use uh, a dimension. So we want smart dimension. So it's just called smart. There is this little ellipses here. This is a smart dimension. For the assembly, we're going to use Cancel, and we're going to use OK. This is the normal check mark and cancel button that you'll see uh, when you're adding mates and things like that. And for drawings, we already have the Smart Dimension feature on there. Um, another one we'll add in is a center mark. So we can just type in center, search these commands, and drag and drop it in. So again, this is very simple. We're just using two different commands in each one. One thing that you definitely want to do um, as you're getting started with mouse gestures is to click this print gesture guides. Just trim this to size, tape it up somewhere near your monitor, just as a reminder, um, not just what your gestures are, but also as a reminder to use them. Uh, once you start using two gestures, you'll move up to four, then you can move to eight, get up to 12, um, and once you're at 12, you'll be flying through these assemblies. So now that we have that done, we're going to create a simple part. We'll just create a sketch in the front plane. And using our gestures, I'm just going to right click and drag. And we can see it selected the center rectangle. So I'll just draw a center rectangle here. Go ahead and grab all of these external lines. Make those equal. So now we have a square. I'll 
and I'll go ahead and dimension this to, uh, we'll say half an inch. So with that first sketch done, now that we're in the part mode and not the sketch mode, what we can do is actually drag over to extrude, select the part, and it doesn't really matter how far we extrude this for this example. This will be the head of a, a square headed bolt, um, just an exercise piece here. We'll go ahead and create a new sketch here. In the sketch, I'm going to drag to the right. That'll give us that center point circle. And we'll dimension that to a quarter of an inch. Again, once I'm back in the part mode, I can drag to the right. Automatically will extrude the sketch I have selected. And again, this doesn't truly matter how far we extrude. So now we have a part, we'll go ahead and save this as square bolt. And we'll switch into an assembly that I had created already. If you remember our mouse gestures for the assembly, uh, we're just the plus or the check and the X. So I'm going to insert a component, square bolt. Drag this in. Now that we have this bolt in the assembly, I'm going to go ahead and start mating this together. Um, as you can see, mate does have these two commands that we want. It has OK, and it has close or cancel. So we'll just go ahead and start mating this up. So grab these interior faces, concentric, and with the mouse gesture, I can say OK. can drag this out, select these two faces, concentric, flip the mate alignment, and again, right click, OK. Now, as you can see, if we had a dozen bolts, this would be very fast to run through. Um, now that we're done with the mate command, we can drag to the left to exit out of that. And now we'll switch over to our drawing. In our drawing, we have this bolt and this bar. We'll drag to the right, just get an overall dimension, maybe a dimension of the holes, of the square bolt, really anything you'd want to dimension. And then we'll drag to the left. Um, we don't have to actually exit out of that Smart Dimension command. Uh, when you select a new mouse gesture, it will automatically exit out of the previous command and open up whichever command you're in. So now we're at center marks. We can go ahead and grab all of our circles and add those center marks in. So again, this has been a quick look um, just how to use just two mouse gestures. You don't need to go crazy. You don't need to add 16, try to remember where they all are, or 12. Um, you can just start with two. Start with two, get good with two, and then move to four, and then move your way on up until you're working at lightning speed, just like Devin showed us earlier on. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment on the blog post uh, and we'll get back to you with an answer or just call our tech support line if you have any questions about mouse gestures.